dizzy at all? Uh, I hope not. Yeah, don't sit up too fast because sometimes your pulse slow a little, but don't worry about the worry and stuff from the bubbles. Yep. I'm just going to get you up slowly. James is going to give us a big smile now because he's got two eyes. Uh, we did the wavefront guided treatment with the Alcon Allegretto laser rather than wavefront optimized because he had unusually large pupils, almost 8 millimeters, and he had a relatively high correction at minus 5, and we tend to have fewer complaints about night vision halos and glare. And we just did his second eye yesterday. We showed you the video of the first eye. So now, James, how do you th how are you doing so far? Doing great. And what, you got a little feel for the vision at night already with your left eye, and tell me a little bit about that. It's not that bad at all. There's a little glow around the lights, but other than that, I can still drive to local places where I know how to get there already, and I just had the surgery yesterday. So. Do you think that glow is a little bit more obvious than it was with contacts? A little bit, but it's already lessening significantly in the first eye we did on Monday, so... Yeah, and that's typical. This tends to improve for the first few weeks, and most patients by the end of a month notice hardly any of that uh, nighttime go. We just checked James's vision, and it's 2020 with each eye separately and 2015 with both eyes together. So now he's going to decide to change engineering and be a pilot. <laughs> okay, thanks for the interview. You'll see yourself later on YouTube.